So 100 times magnification. And you are looking at a mite that was found in some tarantula poop. So this could be a spider mite or it could just be a, a trash mite or I doubt it's a worm mite. I don't know that worms get mites. But this is kind of cool. Also notice there at about the uh, 7 o'clock position just north of the, the mite's head. You can actually see another parasite there. It's a worm egg. All right, another anomaly in this spider's stool. If you'll notice, there's this large roundworm type organism um, or shell. It's about the size of your canine roundworm. If you notice on the inside, there's tons and tons of these football looking things. And it goes off slide. Oh, come back here. Come back here, poop. This is 400 times magnification. And this is uh, Therophosa blondi fecal sample. Uh, you can actually see right there the football shaped organisms that are actually inside that large egg are actually loose in the feces and other places. Um, I've seen this in one of their fecal sample that we did earlier but I wasn't sure exactly the relevant so anyway it's kind of cool putting things together not just to find out what the hell is it. What is it? What is it? This is at uh, 200 times magnification. Here's another one of those roundworm um, size eggs or, or ova and inside there you can actually see off in the periphery at about the six to nine o'clock position the small little uh um i would call tricurus shaped or or bipolar um worm eggs or ova or whatever that is anyway so they're everywhere that's cool beans all right here's yet another one of those uh Round worm size eggs with the uh, little football things on the inside. There's another view. This is 400 times magnification. And there is a loose strong jaw. It is dead or not moving. Or faking it. It could be alive and faking it. It's playing dead. <laughs> it's a very smart worm. <laughs> Sorry. Also in this fecal sample are these large larvae of something. They're not digested, so I doubt they were actually in the spider. If you notice there about the uh, 12 o'clock position, there's actually another one of those little strongile egg type things. So anyway, I believe these are probably just... just some kind of larvae that's living in the in the bedding itself because get a spider fecal it's hard getting just a straight sample without getting bedding in it and, uh, and you can tell they're not digested you can actually see this one stomach simple stomach and right there is another one of those pin or strongile eggs right next to his head all right cool sample all right, here's one of those uh, hookworm sized or pinworm sized egg at about 400 times magnification. Give it the through and through. Pretty cool. All right. All right. Trey says it's been a little under the weather, didn't eat yesterday. And we thought we would go ahead and do a fecal, so I uh, left my fecal at home yesterday, but found another one this morning. And as you'll notice there, at 100 times magnification, um, micro microscopically, and an added 6x digitally, you can see a worm right there dancing around. It's a very, very, very small strong jaw. And there's another one. Ouch. Hold still. And yet another one. It's 100 times plus 6x. Six
Okay, if you've done any studying or you checked out tarantula natural history and natural behavior, you'll find out that earthworms are a major part of their diet. I've actually found out that for three dollars and thirty something cents, <clears throat> I can actually feed uh, my tarantula for going on several weeks, which makes it pretty uh, pretty inexpensive to own you know a creature like that, and also it makes it to where I can actually uh, <clears throat> semi guarantee the almost wormlessness of these paras of these uh, these worms. This sounds strange, but these worms do have parasites. Um, so you can. Uh, you can actually treat you know treat these guys or you can talk with the the worm manufacturers the worm growers which i have done and they assure me that there's not there should be very few problems with these with these worms so i've taken their word for it i've actually done a few worm fecals and although i have found some parasites it's usually not something that the tarantula can be have an issue with so with that in mind night crawlers are a good size that uh um will actually be a really good meal for for a tarantula and i'm going to go ahead and, and medicate that Here's a medication for the tarantula, for the uh, strong gel Um The dose is gonna be specific on your tarantula's weight, so there will be no numbers given here. So you people trying to uh, doctor Google this or try to find some way to do it without actually having a veterinarian or somebody's help, you know, this is, this is not that kind of channel. I am not that kind of doctor. So therefore, these numbers and the dose of this will be dependent on the weight of the tarantula. What I usually try to do, get the worm out, figure out which direction it's moving and as far as the head goes and uh and at that point in time i put the needle into their body retrograde in the other direction that way as they're trying to escape it actually pushes the needle into their body and then i dose accordingly um by volume per the lines right here okay all right well i can't do that and uh video at the same time so i'm going to go ahead and turn this off and show you the aftermath later all right, as you can tell, the worm did not like this at all. You can actually tell that it's been injected right there into the seal arm of the worm. Right now, he's uh, trying to escape the whole situation. And I'm going to go take him in and put him in with the spider.